In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Claude projects to automate and streamline virtually every single task you do at work, in your business, and the rest of your life. Before I start any work task, I'm jumping into Claude and I'm setting it up and using it as my co-pilot in everything I do. So I've always got context and always got AI on my side, no matter what I'm doing. Now to amplify this, you can set up Claude projects. What are Claude projects? Well, you can go onto the left-hand sidebar here of the main homepage and hit this button projects. And this is going to open up a completely different space. You can see I've got all sorts of things set up in here. I've got a local SEO project. This acts as my assistant for local SEO work. I've got AI Elliot for writing purposes. I've got particular client folders in here. I've even built myself a YouTube consultant. So when I'm working on YouTube tasks, I've got something that's an expert on this area. I'm going to show you how to set one up today and how you can use them in your business or with any client work. Now, obviously, you're going to want to start with this button, new projects. And we need to set up some instructions first. So I want to actually today, I want to set up as if I've got a new AI consulting client for some of the work I do. So we could just title it the name of the potential client we're going to use for this particular work. I've picked a random one. This is Grumberg that I found on Google there at accountants um, and the sort of client I might work with for sort of teaching and helping businesses start to introduce AI to their businesses. You could add a little project description for your own relevance. And once you fill that in, hit create project, and it's going to be almost ready to use. Now, you can use it straight off the bat like this. The beauty of projects is when you start having conversations, say we just have a test conversation running now. Actually, if we go back to the main folder, you can see it comes up with a little history of that chat. So all of our, co all of our conversations about this client we can have in this project folder and we're going to get all the chats nicely lined up below here so it's a nice filing system if nothing else rather than having all your chats scattered around on this main dashboard or on the right hand side here and trying to dig through them you can now have everything stored nicely in this hub next we need to add some instructions and some files because the beauty of projects is you can train it and give it context about your business about the projects you're working on or anything you want it to achieve from a particular knowledge base so i like to set some projects instructions they help provide claude with relevant instructions and information for chats within grumberg ai consulting this will look work alongside user preferences and the selected style in the chat so it just gives a little extra steer and direction about its role, what we want it to achieve and how we want it to go about its work. So you can see I've created some here. And again, don't be like, oh, I don't really know what to put in here. So I'll just leave it blank. Remember, you can just use Claude to say, this is what I'm trying to achieve. Can you write some project instructions? And that can help you write it out. You can see here this project assists Elliot in conducting AI implementation for that. Give it some role about the sort of stuff we want to do. So analyze cl client meeting notes, audit reports, research and competitive task analysis, all sorts of instructions in there, even go communication styles. And we can just save that as a little extra context for our project. Now, files is where the magic really happens because every chat we have in here can take information from our files. So if you've got particular context, particular information, even like copywriting frameworks, data you want to train on, you can put it into this file here. So because I always want this project to have a particular set of context about my business and what I do, so it can always refer back to how I work and what we're trying to achieve, I can put my my business context in here. And you probably got some context about your business. But again, you could just if you don't have this, you could ask Claude to ask you some questions about your business, feedback, and fill in the answers to the questions and get it to write some business context for you. Now, the cool thing you can upload a document here you can just paste text in so if you want to just go find some information around the web to paste in there you can you can also link to google drive um all sorts of options in there we're just going to add uh we're just going to paste some context in here because i've got it in a google doc and it's just easier than uploading and downloading the google doc or attaching it and we can title it make sure to title it something that's obvious so you can refer back to it easily so it knows this is my business context about what i do so that's me set up so now we can say to this project, what do you know about my business? And we just jump into the normal chat window now, and it's actually gone and said, based on your business context document, here's what I understand about your AI consulting practice. And boom, it remembers all of that all the time, which is great. Now, the other thing I want to add is context about the business I'm working with so that it has context about what I do, what they do, and everything is filed within those two narratives. This is a little harder to come by because either I need to sit and write this out or I need to go and research on their website and everything and build this document out. But 
we can also use AI to help with that, of course. So here's what you do. You come over to my massive chest of prompts that I use for Claude and ChatGPT. And then I've actually got in here, this has got over 90 prompts in here. Now there's a link in the description where you can actually get this for free. You come down and you grab this business research and context analysis prompt. Now, all we got to do is grab this, pop that obviously into Claude. We got the company name. So we could actually just, even easier, we could put the full web address in there because um, that's what we wanted to research mainly, essentially. Um, and there's another one at the bottom here that says if they can't find information on that business, we can resort back to general industry knowledge. So this is an accountancy firm in London. And now there's one more setting we need to do. Now, in projects, what's cool is you have all the normal Claude features. So you can add uploads and files and all sorts of things. You can add different search tools. So you can have extended thinking. You can even connect it to your Gmail and calendar search. So you can find stuff. Say you're emailing back and forwards with a particular client. You can connect all that up as well as other things, and search your Google Drive as well, um, and select different styles. But what I really want to turn on here is the research mode. This is deep research, so it's going to go extra deep, search through websites, hundreds of sources around the web to get all the context that I need for this business to then create it and put it into our project files. So research mode will take a few minutes to run, so you can go make yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea while that runs. And you can see that actually four minutes, 55 seconds, it's created a whole report and context for us that we can open up in our side panel here in our artifact that we can go through and it's given us, you know, a really good overview of this client. So even if you just wanted quick research for a new job or a new meeting or a sales meeting, you've got the research function is really great to do that. So now what we can do is we can copy that context. We don't even need to download it and put it in a document and actually go back to our main project area. And you can see our chats are starting to build up here really nicely. We can start to reference um, and we can add this context in again. We can just grab the title there, add that in very quickly. We can see award-winning 70 employees, great growth and all the rest of the information you might need on that business. So now we've got the two core pieces of information. We could go on and on, but that's going to get us enough to start doing what we need to do next. Now let's jump into some actual tangible work and how you could use this Claude project as your co-pilot and personal assistant. Now for a lot of years, I've been pretty criminal at not really doing much with meeting notes. I'd make copious notes in meetings, even transcribe and get all the audio from calls and everything. And then I just kind of put it in a Google Google Doc and kind of forget about it and maybe loosely check it when I needed something. But now we can actually use this in a way more tangible way. We could take these notes from a meeting, paste them into our project and then start using them. You know, you could work in a more conversational way, but this is a nice prompt that we can use um, that I've just quickly written that says, you know, based on our meeting today and knowledge of Grumberg accountants can you help create an action plan going forward key decisions follow-up items recommended pain points etc 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 and you can see now it's drafted a lot plenty of notes and information that i need to maybe clarify with people like can they stretch the budget to what we need to do do they have the capacity constraints for new clients or what is the actual integration of their reality and actually gives feedback personally to me about where i can give the most value to their business rather than maybe the initial problem that we went in with. Then with this information, you can easily just start doing things like drafting replies based on the meeting notes for the next steps and touching base, thanking them for their time with always this context in mind. So you can see subject, next steps, thanking them for the meeting, the pain points, um, immediate next steps, what you need of each person based on the notes you've made. And it almost writes that really quick email itself rather than maybe actually what I know happens and used to happen to me is ends up taking half an hour an hour to actually write just a reply email because you've checked through your notes you've tried to work out this and that and it actually does most of that for you and as you develop your projects better and the way you work is that you can start adding in more information to your project knowledge about like your standard operating your procedures you can put your SOPs in here the steps after every meeting so that this all happens automatically without you even having to interfere or edit. Now we can also use projects to complete loads of other work tasks quicker, more efficiently and at better quality. Now let's say I'm preparing for a consultant audit. I actually need to prep a little bit for that meeting. So I actually have a standard set of questions that I would go through with a business to try and uncover their inefficiencies, but they need tweaking based on who I'm talking to and the type of business I'm talking to. Now I can tweak them via industry, but now I can also tweak them based on the context of this particular business as well. I can take my template of questions that I'd work off, add in 
a little prompt at the top here. And again, once you start using this, you'll start to build up the prompts you use regularly that you can just copy and paste in here. I'm auditing Grumberg for AI optimization opportunities. What specific questions should I ask stakeholders employee about specific about their client communications and ops process to identify inefficiencies? Below is my standard template of audit questions for team members and stakeholders. Can we tailor, add to and improve these for the industry and business type? So because we already know about this business, we know about my business, when we're adding this, I guess, SOP, which I could also add into my project knowledge in the future and say, can you generate me a list of questions tailored for this business? I wouldn't even have to add this context in here. We could keep working straight away. Um, you can see it's going to go and improve and tailor this workflow, which is great. And think about it, when I go and then carry out these interviews and these audits, that can all go back into this project. We've already got context about all this stuff to keep working and keep building up this picture step by step as we go in one neat place where everything is referenced, everything has knowledge, and kind of everything flows naturally rather than keeping having to go back to the new chat area, add context and information and explain things over and over again. Everything runs seamlessly in a project. Honestly, if you want to get better at using AI tools like ChatGPT, like Claude, then start using the projects feature more and more and more, and it's going to make your life so much easier.